Hey y'all, I have been horrible. It is Wednesday and I have not picked up my camera, so let's do a quick recap. Hey. Well, what do we do Sunday? Sunday, I cleaned the house, chill. I don't think I got no footage from that because y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all tired of me seeing me clean. Um, Monday, what did I do Monday? Was some work stuff, all work stuff. Tuesday, meetings. How did I forget that? I had a bunch of meetings. Me and Britt met. I met with my coach. I had a coaching call. Um, I talked to this uh, lady that I'm, I'm, I probably might partner with um, to do injections, which is good. I'm kind of excited about that because now, like, I injections is like one of those things. Like, if you don't use it, I don't think you lose it. But kind of like even with nursing, like I haven't been in the hospital in a couple months, and I'm pretty sure when I go back. I'm pretty sure if I go back, like, certain stuff I'll have to, like, let come to me. So, I'm, I'm kind of excited about that because then as I'm getting ready to open up the man's spot, I can still be practicing. Um, I just left the coffee shop. I, I actually filmed a video today, edited it, and it's published. Now, granted, the video was only 10 minutes, but still. <laughs> I did all of that today. I'm proud of myself because I never, I absolutely never film, edit, and put a video out all in one day. I've never done that. So, I'm proud of myself for that. E, I'm about to head home. Go grab, go to the dog store real quick and grab Caleb some food. And then I have a meeting tonight with the girl about the um, injecting. So I just wanted to check in with y'all because I'm like, I haven't picked up my camera all week. What am I doing? Anyway, chat later. Okay, y'all. Um, Today is Friday. I'm trying to do good with vlogging. I have been up for quite a while. It's like 1 o'clock. My anxiety is on 5,010. Y'all, when, when it says to be anxious for nothing and just give it to God, it is easier said than done. Um, But I am not going to sit in my anxiety today. I'm, I wanted to do some work. So this is the thing. I had to go renew my BC, BLS and my ACLS. Child, tell me why I get to do go there and i didn't realize that i was supposed to take some pre-test for my acls until it was time for me to do the acls session and i probably shouldn't have said nothing because she didn't even know um but basically i can't take the class until i do the pre-test but i don't remember having to take no pre-test the first time i did so i'm like what anyway i was annoyed with myself with that because i'm like how did you not read the email thoroughly like what shannon anyway so i still have to do that part i did get the bls out of the way but the acls the next class was tomorrow and I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow because I have a training for PDO thread. So I'm just like, I'll figure it out when I figure it out. Um, but I'm about to go for a walk. I, I was saying that to say I wasn't going to do the test today, but I'm like, it's no point in me even doing it because I really can't even focus. So I'm about to go for a walk and just walk some of this anxiety off. My neighbor, she wants to go out to eat tonight. I really didn't want to go because I'm just in such a mood. But I'm like, girl, you just going to sit. And your anxiety, like, what are we really doing? Take your ass out the house. So I'm going to look at that as, like, a blessing, like, her calling me, like, because literally it's, like, random. Like, hey, girl, what you doing tonight? You want to go get something to eat? I'm like, I'm not doing nothing, but I guess. And then I I, I made me a little outfit. I'm going to show you all the outfit. I literally just made this outfit because it, anyway, I'll show you all when I get dressed. And then when I put my outfit on, I was saying that to say, when I put my outfit on, I felt good. Like, okay, you cute. Like, I haven't put heels on in so long. So maybe this is what I need tonight, but... I'm not really about to do nothing. We're not going till dinner until 6.30. It's 1 o'clock now. So I'm just about to walk. <laughs> I'm about to walk my anxiety off or hope that it works. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to the gym. Y'all know I haven't been to the gym in two months. I keep saying like these last two weeks, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get back in the gym. I'm get back in the gym. And it's so hard. Like once I stop doing something, it's hard. But y'all know for the surgery, I couldn't work out. So if I walk and my anxiety is still there, I'm taking my tail to the gym. Because I'm like, you cannot be this anxious like you gotta calm it down like i have the tools but like i'm so impatient i'm a type of person like what's calling causing my anxiety is my lack of patience really that's all it is like i when i want to know something when i want something to happen i want it to happen right now i have a real problem with patience and i feel like god is testing me right now and i'm failing miserably miserably so that's why i'm just gonna go walk it off um i'm trying to think do we have anything else to do today i was gonna work on this other project that I have, I have several projects that I need to work on. I don't know. It's Friday. I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> I know y'all probably thinking like this girl is ridiculous, but this is just me. Y'all know I don't have no problem being me. That's all I can be. Um, but I figured I'll pick up the camera today because she was like, make sure you bring her camera. She vlogs too. She like really big on Instagram. She doing her thing. Like I'm so proud of her. Like she is really doing her thing. I had got her hip to like the YouTube or whatever. Cause I'm like, girl, you could be making money off of this. Like, what is you doing? You already got the following on Instagram. Like tell them to come over to YouTube too, so you can start monetizing. Yada, yada, yada. So we end up just becoming cool. But anyway, 
I'm about to go for a walk. I'll come back and see y'all later on tonight um, and do a whole, like, get ready with me. I don't know if I want to put on makeup tonight. I got this stupid period bump. I just tried to bust it. That's why it's, like, bigger. But that's another thing, too. I'm on my period. So I'm, like, batshit crazy. I really feel like the government should compensate women for just being women. Like, the shit that we have to deal with, the hormones, the, the, the off and on, it's just, like, a lot. Please give me some money for me just having to be me. But anyway, I'll chat with y'all later. Oh, girl, you're shining. You know you're my diamond. Alright, so I'm about to get ready to hurry up. Um, I'm not putting on any makeup because guess who doesn't know how to do their makeup still? Me. I literally just got out the shower, so forget the fact that my face looks ashy. But um, I was about to say, oh, my skin looks so good. My skin does actually look good with the exception of that. But y'all know how bad my skin was. That chemical peel did me really, really good. I need to fill it in. Um, and then my outfit, we'll figure that out. Um, it's really cute though. Y'all know I got everything from Zara. I need to curl my hair because it I need it actually cut. This one thing about this hairstyle, if, if the cut is not like once my hair starts to grow out, like the cut doesn't look good. I want to grow my hair out, I just don't want to go through the ugly phase. It's not much I can do with this hair. Like I can't put it in a ponytail. I could probably put it a little no, I can't. I can't put it in a ponytail. And so I'm like, if I grow it out, like I wanna have a style where I can still look decent. The crazy thing is I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting like some primer under my eye. One of my friends, Rachel, told me to get this primer. I don't even use this. And y'all know that makeup be expired? I never wear makeup. Like, literally, never. And I feel like at the grow age of 36, like, oh, shit. Should I let the primer settle? Like, see what I mean? Like, I don't be know. And maybe just put this under there. Shout out to some of my stuff that fell out. And I need this for my lips. A bit lighter, so we're going to see. But I'm only putting on concealer. I'm not doing anything else because I don't know what I'm doing. She goes to a makeup artist and she did teach me like a few things, but I forgot it. Because guess what? I never wear makeup. So I just want something bright to brighten up my under eye because these bags, honey. Why do I have bags? I don't know. The fact that it looks like I have nothing on, I don't know if that's good or bad. It looks like a little bit bright, but anyway, we're about to do these lashes. I really need to get my life together. Like, how, how am I 36 and don't know how to put on makeup? Social club, somebody was like, you always look so good together. And I'm like, me? Oh, I should have bought some more lash glue because this one is like starting to go bad. How many lashes do I got over here? Oh, I, this is literally a whole eye full. Anyway, let's put these lashes on. I'll be back. I'll be back when my hair is done because I feel like, what's the point of talking about if I look the same? All right, so now we're on to my hair. <sighs> I'm hoping it turns out right because lately I've been curling my, like, I typically I can curl my hair. Even though I don't know how to really do it, if the cut is cutting, then the curls will come out right. It's not much that I need to do. It's really all in the cut. Like, lately when I've been bumping it, it hasn't been laying right when I curl it. So I'm hoping that that is not the case tonight because I don't have time for that right now. She cut layers of my hair, but shout out no layer. The layers is gone. Oh, actually, actually, wait. I don't get too excited. I need to go get my other comb. And y'all too, like, since I moved to Georgia, my hair, one, I have had dandruff like freaking crazy. She just, why, I just got it done. So it's not um there now. But after a week, my freaking dandruff in my hair is like ridiculous. And my scalp is so dry, but I think it's because I was so used to being in Florida. Does it look bad? I don't know. I was so used to being in Florida. Let's go. I need the other comb. I was so used to being in Florida. Um, I think it changed the condition of my skin. I don't know. Um, because now I'll be having dry scalp, and I hate that for myself. But, I mean, uh, it don't look too bad. It don't look too bad. But you, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's like... It's, 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 the cut is growing out and I need her to cut my hair again. I really should have had her cut it then, but I didn't. All right, so this is the makeup look. That's it. I didn't, all I did was put this concealer on. I don't know what it's looking like on camera. 
um, concealer and then my little lippy. Hey Alexa, a pause music. So now I'm about to lotion my body up because uh, we don't want to be ashy. My legs are going to be out. And then we're going to figure out this little outfit shindig because it's not really an outfit because it needs to be taken to um, get altered. But I like the idea that I came up with. So let me go lotion my ashy legs and then I'll come back. This is the out outfit. So it's two pieces. It's a very long skirt that we're going to turn into a mini. And then this shirt is actually... I should have got an extra small because it's too big, but this is the real, I'm trying to make a, a real, oh, I need to cut this off. So y'all can't see the skirt, but this is the skirt. See how long it is? Super long, but we're going to fix that. I wish that it showed like a little bit of cleavage because it's very, oh, I don't even tell my hair. It's very much so um now this outfit is a thousand percent giving church grandma so what i'm going to do is pull this up y'all can't see it let me pull it up. i'm pulling this up through here and we're gonna make this a mini skirt not too short though oh it's hot jesus now, when I tried this on, it worked out, so I'm hoping it does the same thing. Now, I have this little scrunchie that I'm going to put on here. So, I'm going to tie it like this because really, ultimately, I want this to be short. But I want it to be tight as well. At first, I was going to leave it like this one. I'm like, yo, that's ugly. I had a clear one, but we're going to do it like this. And so, this is the outfit, but... I'm gonna pull it down a little tiny bit because I don't want too much of a mini. And then I want this shirt. Let me see if I can make it tighter. I should have got an extra small in this, but I didn't think that it would be like, you know, super big. Okay, so this is the shirt. This is the outfit. And then I'm doing good because I thought this was gonna be bad. Okay, so let me show y'all. This is the. This is the look, and it's, I guess it's a, this is the material, it's not wrinkled. Um, I don't know what type of material it is, but. So these are the shoes. Y'all remember I bought these shoes from when I was in Miami last year. The Aquazura. And honestly, this type of go is so hard to find stuff to go with. Um, but they look so good on, so. Let's try these on. I, hold on, let me show it. Let me, I'm gonna pop y'all up right here so y'all can get the full. I'm gonna have her do some video too because I told y'all she don't use them now. Is that a mosquito? Okay. This is the full fit. The shoes look cute. I think navy just looks good on me. Like I really love this color on me. But y'all see how I made it short. I gotta keep like pulling it down just a little bit. But it's kind of like slanted at an angle. It's cute. I could probably still get it tailored, but this is how I was gonna have her make it. I was gonna have her bring this shirt in and bring this skirt up, cause child, it go all the way to my ankles. But I actually might not, because I still like the ankle look, like if I wanted to wear this to church or something, but it's not tight enough. It's like very loose, and this is a small, but I like it. I think it looks cute, a cute little, we're going to Yabo. I've been here before, I haven't been in a while though, but I think this is cute, so. I'll see you guys at dinner. We have a reservation for six. Um, I think the makeup turned out like decent. My hair turned out like decent. I'm just so, I have to, when I'm like in a negative mood, like everything is like, oh my God, I look like this, I look like that. It's like, girl, shut up. Anyway, all right, I think the hair turned out decent. My makeup is decent. Um, I think I look cute enough to go out. This lip look, it's showing up weird on the camera though. It's showing up like my lips are white and it's, not like that in real life, so don't worry. I'm not out here looking like Ashley Lip Larry and lashes turned out fine. So yeah, I will see y'all at the place. You wanna get with me, stop. Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded. Most of these things I don't wanna say. 
I wanna be around while you chase. You wanna hit me up when you make it. You'll try and come back when you're famous. I always want the truth, but it's dangerous. You got something real, not basic. You wanna get with me, stop. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday. It's about 8 30. It's probably not 8 30 now. That's when my alarm went off. Anyway, I'm getting dressed now, putting on my uniform um, to get ready to go to the PDO. I'm doing a PDO thread training. I said when I open back on my mask file, I'm like, what services do I want to focus on? And PDO threads are really good. It like, it gives you a facelift. I'll get some footage when I get there. But like how my face is like this, like imagine, like my face looks like this right now. It looks puffy because I literally just woke up, but imagine it like being snatched, like pulled back. It pulls your, it's like a facelift for a fraction of the cost and downtime. And so I'm going to get trained on that. I'm actually really excited. So I'm putting on a uniform because I'm not trying to be dressed for that. Last night was really fun. I'm glad that I got out. I'm so glad that she asked me out. Um, Because otherwise I wouldn't have been in the house being a car, baby. Where is my sweater? Sweater. Um, And then after we went to go eat, I had went to go see. What was I coming to say? Oh, I was coming to tell y'all about my date. So afterwards. I had went out on a date. Well, I wouldn't even call it a date. This guy that I'm talking to, um, I had went to one of his clubs at the words. And we had like a good time. We had like a really good time. So I'm glad that I went out with him. Um, I just enjoyed myself. So now I'm about to hear, well, it's kind of early still. I'm gonna make, oh, actually it's not too early because I want to leave by the 9.30. It's 20 minutes away, but I wanted to make me a, um, a chai tea. I'll say really quick, but I don't want to let that dog out. So, anyway, when I get to the place, I will get some footage and talk to y'all later. It's like you have to listen to the patient to have them tell you what their idea is. Because at the end of the day, you might think they look good, but when you're actually there and they're doing it. Hey y'all. Oh. We're at, um, what's today? Today is, um, can y'all see that in the back? I'm trying to go to like, um, I like more of a hotel vibe when I go to work now. I do like coffee shops, but hotel vibes are like, I don't know, I just like it. So anyway, I came here before on a date um and i really liked it so i'm about to go here and get some work done today today is monday it feels good it's a beautiful day outside i'm so happy that it is getting warm outside but anyway i just want to check in with y'all and i will uh chat with y'all later on today um i don't know i gotta i need to figure out what i need to do today today is a planned day and i need to um create some content stuff like that i'm about to get my life together Look in your eyes to the dangers. Grateful I had all the patience. All right, y'all. So I am done working. I'm about to take a quick lunch break. Um, I'm actually about to go on a quick date. I gotta tell you, I have to update y'all on my dating life. 
update y'all on the roster because we actually have a roster now <laughs> so i'm about to go um we're about to go to this place called roomies is it roomies yeah it's roomies it's like a mediterranean place the food there is really really good um and i'm actually hungry did i didn't i didn't even check tell y'all what i did today i um today was my first day back in the gym like in two months and it wasn't that bad um i'm probably not gonna feel it until tomorrow but the plan is to get my butt back in the gym honey because i just like going to the gym i just like my body better when i've been working out so i'll give y'all an update on my boobs too i mean it's not really much of an update but i'll update y'all so anyway Oh, excuse me. I'm about to head over there. Um, and then I'll probably check back in show with y'all later. I'm trying to think, what else do I have to do today? I pretty much organized my life for the week. So, oh, I want to go get a car wash. And I think that's really it. I don't have a lot to do today. I don't think, child. I don't know. I remember. Whenever I um, come back from there, I guess I'll talk to y'all. So, chat later. So I just dropped my car off, getting a car wash. So I figured, I just got back from my um, my little date. It was cute. We went to this place called Romy's. Um, I got some, what did I get? I got the lamb kebab, the hummus lamb, and he got some sea bass. I had never had sea bass before and it was pretty good. Um, but I dropped the car off to the car wash. So I'm just waiting for me to, waiting for it to get done. I figured while I was getting my car wash, I could update y'all on my roster, <laughs> my dating roster. It's not even really a full roster because child, it ain't really that many options out here. I don't know, I actually know. My neighbor told me I need to stop speaking like that. So there are options out here. I just need to be, I need to be careful about what I say. Like words definitely have power and I need to pay attention to the words that I say, especially about myself. So anyway, we're going to chat really quick about my dating partner. Come on, come on, go ahead. Um, so like I said, it's not really true a roster. It's only two guys. So I'll tell you about the first guy. I don't think he's not really somebody who was on the roster, but he is somebody who I talk to every single day. So we'll call him Nigerian Bay. This is the first time I ever talked to a Nigerian. I think I told y'all about the first guy who y'all was like, don't, don't talk to him because he might be a scammer. I didn't even talk to him that long, um, but Nigerian Bay make me only want to talk to Nigerian men. Like, Nigerian men treat, I feel like, treat women better than, like, American men. Um, but Nigerian Bay, he lives in a completely different state. So, I can't even take him serious. And he already knows that. Um, but me and Nigerian Bay, we talk every single day. I have no doubt in my mind if we are in the same state, we would actually date. Um, but because we are not, like, I don't even, I'm not a long distance person. When I want my man, I want my man. Like, I want him to be there right now. I don't want to have to fly to him. I want to be able to pull up when he pull up on me. So I can't even do long distance. So like I said, I don't take him serious. Um, and then also Nigerian Bay, he, um, he was in a pretty traumatic divorce. And I can tell that he has like a lot of baggage associated. Not a lot of baggage, but he needs to do some healing because he has this preconception about women um and he operates from a place of being hurt and i don't have time for all of that like go get healed and then come back to me i don't have time for none of that so that's why me and nigerian bay can't be together however me and nigerian bay we talk every single day we are like really good friends like he's very goal oriented and so am i and so like we're always like encouraging each other on our goals we're always talking about our goals like he always like so what you got up for today what we working on this month like we check in with each other and i like that i like a man who has things going on for himself and we can encourage each other to do better so we have that type of relationship and we can laugh we can joke and he what i also really like about him is he is the type of man when he he listens so i like a man who if you hear me complaining about something just fix it that's what I like. I'm a, am I, is that acts of service? I don't know, but just take care of it. That's what type of man I want. So for a prime example, when I used to, um, in one of my assignments, y'all know, I used to be driving far. It was like an hour and a half. And he would hear me complaining. Like every time I get off of work, cause I would talk to him after I got off of work on my way home or whatever. And every day I would be complaining cause I would be so tired. And he heard me talking about like falling asleep on the road and all that stuff. Child, this man was like, don't worry about it. I got you an Uber. And it was not cheap. I like a man like that who, sees that I have a problem and he fixes it like just 
do it for me like that that's the key to my heart that and food like hear me listen and come up with a solution so like i said if nigerian babe was actually here in atlanta i'm pretty sure we would actually be dating exclusively because we like each other we have a good time like we can laugh we can joke we can be on the phone for hours like we super cool with each other um it's just those two things so again i don't take him serious but i do like him as a person so that's why i continue to talk to him every day he's actually supposed to come here this weekend i need to call him i mean to call him um and make sure he's still coming or not but anyway so that's the person on the roster we're going to call him pops now pops is an older man um i realized the older that i've got i'm 36 so um is that like late 30s yeah i guess i'm in my late 30s now so I've, I've, the older I've gotten, the more I've had to, I've noticed that I need to increase the age range of men that I date. So typically I date men in their 30s, but now I really don't want to date men in their 30s. Not saying that there is, there are no men in their 30s who are mature and ready to settle down, but I'm just finding that men in their 30s are not where I want them to be at in life, um, which is completely fine. So now I've started to date men in their 40s. So Nigerian Bay is 45. Nigerian Bay is 45 and pops is 48 but pops doesn't act 48 he kind of looks 48 but he looks good for his age 48 is not old to me but you know like that's me increasing my range so pops is interesting pops is very let me say this i like a man who is sure of himself i like a man who can show me that he can lead i don't mind being submissive at all but i am very much so independent i have taken care of myself without anyone's help I know how to do this on my own so i don't need anybody to take care of me but when we're talking about longevity when we're talking about marriage if i'm going to submit to you and i'm going to allow you to lead my life i need to see that you lead in your own life right because you ain't about to lead me down a rabbit hole especially when i've led myself to a very good point in my life i hope y'all can hear me because it's so windy out here um so pops is very like he is somebody's daddy and with that he is very much so a lecturer so every time i do something because i told you i had a really slick mouth every time i do something or say something that he does not like he's going to lecture me on it however i don't really mind that i like a man who can put me in my place without having to put me in my place like i just like that because i know i could be a little bit much so i do like that about pops but he does come with that whole like daddy lecturing type of style thing which i don't mind because he can communicate it's never disrespectful it's never condescending it's never like loud it's never like rude or like you do what i say it's very like we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have a discussion about something or whatever and then we'll so i do like that about pops um pops also is very playful if you've ever been in a relationship with me all i do is play all day i'm like one of them people like shannon stop playing you play too damn much like that to me like i just like to have a good time i just like to enjoy myself like my life is already too serious in my own head so i need a man who i can be playful with and so pops is that he's had he has a very young spirit so all we do is play joke around wrestle all day and i absolutely love that but there is something about Pops that I can't quite put my finger on that is making me feel like it's probably not going to turn into like a relationship. However, I'm just enjoying it for what it is because I do like him. Like we talk every day. I'm around him for the most part, like multiple times a day or like not multiple times a day. What am I trying to say? Like several times throughout the week. Um, and we have a really good relationship. So that's who I just went out with, obviously, not Nigerian Bay. Um, I just went out with Pop. So, yeah, that is uh, my dating life thus far. This time around, I told y'all, y'all, I'm being very intentional. Before, I was just dating men because I had never really dated before. I was always in a serious relationship for, like, years or I'm not talking to nobody for years. So, this time, I'm just learning how to maneuver through dating life. And one thing I do learn is I don't like to exclusively date anybody unless I know it's serious because i can focus too much attention on one person which is not necessarily a bad thing but i know my attachment style and so if i feel like i'm giving my energy to too much too much to one person and we're not together i don't like that feeling for me so i need to date multiple men so that my attention can be on multiple people and not just one person i don't know if that makes sense but anyway yeah child that's my dating life I'm um, just out here enjoying these Atlanta streets. So anyway, um, I'm about to get my car. After I finish getting the car wash, um, I'm just about to go home. I have a little tiny bit of work to do, and I want to be in the bed at 8 o'clock, y'all. I love this life for me. I love waking up early, going to just do my own thing, 
go to work, go in a nice little coffee shop, go to like a, a hotel lobby or something, do my work, come home and um chill and get in the shower and go to bed. Like that's the life I want to live. Like I like this is the part about being an entrepreneur that I love, just being able to be on my own schedule. So yeah, I'm not doing nothing else for the rest of the day. So I will probably chat with y'all tomorrow. I don't know what I gotta do tomorrow, but yeah, I'll chat with y'all then. All right, y'all, so what's today? Tuesday, we back at the hotel, more work. Today should be a short work day. I need to take this test. I, did I tell y'all about the ACLS thing? I got I had to reschedule the class. I'm taking it Saturday, but I'm about to get this test out the way today. You gotta get like a 70%. I think it's like uh, telemetry strips and stuff like that. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna take that today. It's the beginning of the month. You know, I know bills is due. So I'm about to go over my finances and um, get this, see what, what money going out. And I had to do one more thing. Me and Britt are going live. We're doing a master class. So we, we started the marketing strategy for that. I hope y'all can see me. Um, and then what else do I got to do today? My finances, the test. Oh, I need to make the um treatment plan from this video. I think my next video is about to be like um I kind of already did one, but I need to do it differently. Um, but mistakes that I made or made made mistakes from the med spot, like um things that you should avoid so that your med spot doesn't fail. I think I'm gonna do a video like that because I don't have enough vlog footage to put out a vlog. So yeah, that's it. I'm about to stop in here and do that. I don't have much to do today. I think I'm supposed to be going on a little date with this guy I met. I know I just told y'all yesterday about my little roster. This guy is new though. I just started talking to him today. And so um, I'm like, he wanted to go out and grab a drink later on today. Um, just so we could chit chat. Usually, I what I don't be doing is going out with guys. Like, I talk to them like two or three times first to see if like you a vibe first, and then we can go out because I don't like wasting my time. But um, we'll see. He's Nigerian. He's another Nigerian guy. He seems nice, but we only talked for five minutes, so that's all I got to go off of. So yeah, I will see y'all later on.